Hello, Scrappy Peep Susanna here today for Bella Boulevard to share with you this school is cool, but back to school shopping is best layout. So it is a long title. I am using the back to school collection. Um, I The foundation of this is this uh, cutout. So cutouts are, um, they're pre-printed die cuts, really. Um, and I chose not to back this one because I really wanted, um, I, I just wanted a simple color palette. I wanted the, the teal, the orange, and the black. They're somewhat school colors. Um, and so I just literally use liquid adhesive to stick it down. And then I'm just, my, my aim was that I was going to use lots of embellishments to add those same trifecta of colors in there to go with the trifecta of photos. Um, and so some of them I had pre like these two, I knew they were going exactly where they were going. Um, so this little owl with the glasses is knee cute and he's standing on those O's perfectly, kind of like a branch. Um, and then, so I knew that's where they were going. And then the rest of it was sort of TBD. Um, I sometimes have a plan as I'm scrapbooking and sometimes I just kind of go with it. Um, um, I cut these two because I really thought that I would use the library card, the learn, and the both library card. Well, I should say the blue, the teal, and the white library card. But I actually end up only using the blue or teal library card there. Um, so I wanted to keep the three photos together as just sort of one photo collage. And then I knew I needed to leave room for the long title. Um, so I just wanted this to be a horizontal strip at the bottom of the page and then I could continue with the title um, at the bottom of the page there. So just a little bit of a history for me and Bella Boulevard. Um, so I, Bella Boulevard was founded in 2008. My son is 2006. So is no he's 21 he was born in 2006 so around then is when i really got into serious serious scrapbooking instead of just hoarding um and so i probably have been into bella boulevard in fact i have i know i have been into bella boulevard as long as bella boulevard has been around um and i have been a fan for ages 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 back to the day one probably in fact, if you look at my stash of Bella Boulevard, I probably have Stephanie's first collection in there. Um, so I now have teenagers. Well, he's not even a teenager. So Mia is 18. That's um, the child in these photos or the legs of the child in these photos. Um, and then my oldest is 21. So I still love Bella Boulevard and I have been able, able to evolve how I use Bella Boulevard into these teenagers. So I like to say that this is um, school is cool teenage version because I choose the elements, the stars, the cute owl um, that work with my older kids. And it's still completely possible um, to do that even though you have older children. So don't put Bella Boulevard in a box and just think that they are for younger children. Um, so I have the orange, as you can see, and white, um, letter scrambles here. Have you seen the new ones? I'm so excited about the new letters that are coming out um, to add to even more of these long titles that I love. So yes, school is cool, but when you're a teenager, you know what's even better than school? Back to school shopping, especially if you find a North Face backpack it wasn't on clearance, but on sale, really, right, at TJ Maxx. Like, I think that this $180, $90, $200 pack was um, $54 or something like that. Like, that is a steal. So that's what this page is about. This is about the teenager discovering the North Face backpack and how back-to-school shopping is even better than school. So you can totally make um, this Bella Boulevard cutesy school collection work for your teenager as well. Um, and I like long titles. I like titles that are relevant to my page. And so uh, letter scrambles are definitely the way to go, right? So look how I made that fun. I took the, the chow chipboard back to school um, and incorporated that into the 
cut file or the cutouts and then added my own letters to complete that. So this is pretty much the foundation of the page. Now I'm just sort of building upon that, finding more embellishments. You can see I have those frames um, and a bunch of other stuff that I really thought I wanted to use. I can't remember what's on that white star. I think it... Um, I don't remember what it says, but it wasn't really relevant. So I just covered it up with a word phrase and uh, made it work. Uh, covering up, that, so the, the foldable tab there is not functional. I could, I thought about putting it on the library card that's tucked beneath for the journaling, but I, I really liked, uh, I think it says this belongs to or journaled by or whatever that card says. I, if I covered that, I was losing some of the fun of it, and I really like that white there to tie together the top of the page with the bottom of the page. It also filled in a little bit of the white space there. So I'm just using some of the chow chipboard, some of the enamels, um, some of the ephemera icons, and just putting them throughout the page to just sort of create a little bit of a cascade that unites the top of the page to the bottom of the page there. I will bore, save you the boring agony of watching me put all of these letters down. Um, chipboard is heavy when it's stored vertically and so I do like to add additional um, adhesive to chipboard pieces just so that they stay on the page and don't pile up at the bottom of the page protector there. So you can see I've got the epoxy stars and shapes as well as the puffy stickers that go with this collection and I'm just sort of again filling in some gaps. I don't want it to be too busy. I want you to be able to read what's on there but just sort of pull things together with these additional elements. Are they necessary? No. Are they fun? Absolutely. So am I going to use them? Absolutely. So you can see I put that blue, the teal flower with the red dot, and that was annoying the living daylights out of me. So I just used um, one of the trinkets, puffy stickers in orange to cover that up. So that's where the journaling can go. And, and that wraps it up, my friends. Be sure to um, follow, stay stu tuned for the close-ups. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask those in the box or in the comments down below. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.